I want to kick it off with some training because I feel like this is where most women feel totally lost. The things that worked in the the 20s, the 30s, even sometimes in, in the early 40s, like a lot of women all do is cardio, they do hit, they do light weights. Um, it's just not cutting it anymore. And you know, the warrior babe community is super hungry to to build muscle, to feel strong and to stop spinning their wheels in the gym, but they just don't know, you know, a lot of the places like where to start, what actually is best for their body now. So what actually changes in how women should train once they hit this stage of life, like perimenopause and menopause? Yeah. So I like to bring people back to that conversation around puberty, right? Because we hear and we've all been through it. We know that your body changes and you have all of these things that happen and then you get your menstrual cycle, mm -hmm. right? So we're on the other side of things where we're starting to see our body is unwinding our ovarian function. So what does that mean really? Like we're having more and more anovulatory cycles. So we're not dropping an egg. If we don't drop an egg, then we don't produce progesterone. We're seeing that we're having more flux of estrogen and our body has been affected by a continuous cycle of estrogen and progesterone for decades. Now every system of the body is starting to be affected. We see it from brain changes, cardiovascular changes. We see it and you go get a blood test and all of a sudden you have high cholesterol and you're like, I've never had that before. I don't have a family history. Mm -hmm. It's primarily because of estrogen and progesterone and how they have an interplay in every system of the body. We talk specifically about skeletal muscle. We see that estrogen is really tightly tied to how our muscles respond and how strong our contractions are and how powerful they are. We also have the other side of things where our body by aging is becoming less and less responsive to protein intake and to resistance training. So all these women who up to this point have been, oh yeah, I get 20 grams of protein after training. I've done my HIT. I've done my CrossFit Metcon. I've you know done my three by tens or three by fifteens. I'm gone to fatigue. None of that works now because our body's like, oh wait a second, we need more protein to stimulate anabolism or the building of muscle. We also need to find a different stressor that's going to create. Uh, adaptive response because our bodies are really kind of used to not being threatened. So if we are able to create a stress that's going to cause a threat that the body's then like, ah, oh, I've got to build more muscle. I've got to have a powerful contraction. Then it's going to respond in kind. So when we take that into translation, it's like, okay, what are we doing here? We want to look at that power-based range of, of lifting where we want people to learn how to lift heavy properly. We want to do compound movements. We want to have adequate rest between our sets because we want a central nervous system response. Because if we're having a central nervous system response, it's the nerve saying, hey, wait a second, I need to be able to stimulate all of these muscle fibers for a really strong contraction. Mm -hmm. How am I going to do that? Okay, I need some more of this neurotransmitter around so I can actually jump and contract these muscle fibers. In these muscle fibers, I also need my myosin and actin to be really on point. So let's stimulate the myosin a bit more so the myosin and actin contract strongly and bond together. Mm -hmm. And then by the nature of having to have more lean mass, if we are having a continuous stress from central nervous system and also peripheral nervous system, then the body's like, okay, I need to be able to build more mass to keep up with what's happening from the brain. So when we're looking at the training scope, it's no wonder that people who are used to doing like the hit and the um, higher reps and lower weights, not finding a change because it's not the right kind of stress we need when we're starting to have these changes in our hormones. Yeah, that makes total sense. So for the women that are doing those types of activity, like you're, fo you're saying like focus on more compound movements, put more stress on the body with the weights. How about with the women that are like in menopause? Like, is it the same thing? Like, like strength training, compound movements, is there anything differently that would be done during that phase of life? No, when we're seeing what's happening is we're having that wind down during perimenopause. So we start to put those new patterns into play. So the body's responding because we see the biggest change in body composition is occurring over that menopause transition. Mm -hmm. So when we're doing the heavier weights and we're actually looking at loading the body properly, not only are we stimulating lean mass development, we're also stimulating bone. Mm -hmm. And both of those are really important. So when we get to postmenopause, 
we have those patterns into play. But if you're listening to this, you're like, oh, I'm well past that perimenopause. It's not too late to start because if we start lifting heavier, we're putting stress on the ligaments and the tendons and the muscle, we're also building bone to support that. And when people are like, oh, you know, I'm 62, how can I lift heavy? It's like, well, we don't want you to go in and do a heavy deadlift right now. Let's look at where you are and phase in in a relative way, just like we would any other person in any other phase of their life. Mm. So what you're basically saying is like lifting is essential. It's not optional really, right? Like exactly. Say, yeah. Amen to exactly. that. <laughs> Amen yeah. To that. <laughs> yeah. So even even young kids, right? Like we have that fear of lifting and development, but it's about functional movement and getting them used to pushing and pulling and stuff because we don't do that in a natural environment anymore. Yeah, totally. 